Hi there all and welcome to this video. Today we will be talking about extended texts in Business Central. So I'll just begin with a bit of an explanation on what extended texts are. Well, they're basically um, a predefined block of text which we can add to many different areas in Business Central. So things like documents and journals um, depends on obviously how we want to use them. So let me just jump into BC and I'll show you this on screen. So what I'm going to do is just go to my chart of accounts page here um, and just show you the extended text functionality attached to one of the GL codes on my chart of accounts. So I'm just going to go into GL code 10100 here and I'm going to go into account and over here I'm going to go into extended texts. So this brings up a, a new page here called the extended text list and I can attach a new record here. Okay, so uh, I'm going to create a new record um, and I can assign a language code if I want to. So if I use language codes throughout my BC system, um, I can define an extended text record against a particular language code. So it will be used in conjunction with that particular language code. Um, equally, I do have the all language codes Boolean here. So if that's ticked, it will just use it for, for all of them. So next I have a uh, description here and I'm just going to add test, but you can make it something uh, a little bit more meaningful. Um, here I'm just showing you how you can use this functionality. Um, and equally we do have starting date and ending date here which are basically fields um, which you can use to say this particular extended text is only valid throughout these dates here. So you can set the starting date here um, and the ending date here basically um, and uh, as I say you can just use those to define dates between which those extended texts should be used um, and then basically what I can do is just add a bunch of text um, that I want to show up in my extended text record so um, I'm just going to say test one test two test three and test four but you get the idea here, you can add whatever text you want to. So this is the predefined text that we're going to be pulling through to um, the different areas of um, BC. I'll show you that in a second. Um, you have as much space here as you need to. And uh, yeah, just obviously type um, what you need to show up every time in these text fields. Um, I'm not sure in terms of limitation in uh, this particular text field, um, we can probably do a, a bit of research and just find out how long, uh, how many characters um, those fields allow us to, to type in. Um, so I won't do that on this uh, video, but I'll let you do that in, uh, in your own time. And just on the lower part of the page here, I have a sales fast tab and a purchases fast tab. Um, and these areas basically allow me to say that this particular extended text can be used on sales quotes, blanket orders, orders, invoices, sales return orders, and I won't go through them all, but you get the idea here. I tick the box here for those particular document types for which I want to use this particular extended text record, right? So um, you can set these to come through automatically, and I guess that's why these tick boxes are here. Um, we can say that we want a particular extended text to come through on a quote, you know, if we were providing quote information, for example, uh, but we don't want that extended text to come through on any other sales document, in which case we would very simply uncheck all the boxes like this. So I guess firstly have a think about blocks of text that you can predefine on your documents. Um, and then have a think about, do we need to limit the documents on which those extended texts are going to show up, okay? Um, and you have the same here for your purchase ledger as well. So I won't run through all of those, but have a play, have a test at your will. Okay, so I've set up that extended text record against my GL account 10100 for income services. Um, and 
just before I go ahead and pop that onto a document, we do have a field here on the GL account card, which is where I am now, called automatic extended text, right? So this, if marked as yes, probably self-explanatory, but it basically pulls through the extended text to the, the target document or journal when you're using this particular GL account card. If you don't want that to happen, just uncheck automatic extended text here, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna mark that as yes for now, uh, and we'll see how that works. Uh, but there is a way to pull through extended text on the document um, or, or, or journal line itself if we need that to happen. So I'll show you that later as well. Um, so just before we go ahead and pop these extended texts onto a document, um, I just want to briefly show you that you do have extended text in some other application areas. So we were on a GL account card there, but if I go to my items, my products, I do also have the automatic extended text option here against an item card, and I can define extended text in the same way against an item that I can against the GL account card. And there's a few other ledgers, resources, etc., that we can use um, these, these extended texts on. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna do is let me just go ahead to a sales invoice now, and I'll just show you those extended texts in action. So let me go ahead and raise a new sales invoice. And I'm just gonna choose a Datum Corporation here. And what I'm gonna do is just select GL account as the line type. I'm gonna select account number 10100. And what you can see here is the test one, two, three, four extended text lines have come through as comment lines on my document, right? Um, now I can still modify these, obviously it's an unposted document, so I can still change these. I can still delete them if I want to as well. Um, but because we had the automatic uh, extended text option checked on my GL account card for GL account 10100, that's why it showed up automatically here, right? So let me just change that to no. So I'm going back to the GL account card and I'm going to say automatic extended text is now no. Okay, so this time what I'm going to go ahead and do is add the same GL account in. So I'm going to delete those lines and I'll just do the same thing again. So I'm going to say 10100 and this time you'll see that the extended text records didn't come through. And that's because I hadn't enabled the automatic extended text Boolean, right? So if I go show details here, um, the automatic extended text is disabled now. That's why it didn't come through automatically. But what I can do is at line level, so whilst I have this line selected, obviously you may have multiple lines on your sales invoice. Uh, whilst I have this line selected, I can go line, functions and insert extended text okay so that is going to do the same thing um, that we saw before but this time i've had to do it manually by pressing line functions and then insert extended text so that is about it really um, for extended text here um, one thing to mention is that be careful because this is a sales invoice and these extended text lines will flow through to the posted sales invoice which of course means they will show up on the printed document right so uh, yeah just have a think about ways in which you might want to use this it may not be useful to you that's fine but this video is just to show you how it can be used now, one of the other ways that we can use extended text is we can use the standard text code functionality within Business Central, right? So see here on my line type, on my sales invoice, I've got the option of comment selected. And when I drop down here, I've got a look up to my standard text codes, okay? So if I, if I say select from full list here, what the so this brings up the standard text codes page and uh, the standard text code page basically um, allows me to add 
some standard text, you know, again, that might be the same every time. So I've got a few here, you know, I've got some for monthly depreciation, shipping charges, sale under contract or travel expenses. These are just ones that are provided in the demo environment, but you can create these as and when you need to. Okay, so what I'll do is let me just hit cancel on here and I'm going to navigate to the standard text codes page and I'll just add a record in there and we'll use it on our sales invoice, okay? So let me just go dimensions of package here. So it's just a, an example that we can use um, just to show you how it works. So uh, I've added uh, a new standard text code here called DIMS, uh, which is dimension of package, dimensions of package, and to this standard text code, again, I can add extended text, right? So I'm gonna say new. So we're doing exactly the same thing that we did before. I'm not going to run through all these fields, um, but I'm gonna say volume, depth, length, and height. Okay, so you don't have to use it in this way, guys, here, but um, I'm just showing you a way that you can use it. So just to recap what we did there, we added a standard text code called DIMS, and we added some extended text to those uh, standard text codes. Uh, and what I'm gonna do now is come back to my sales invoice and I'm gonna select my new standard text code here. And what happens then is see, I get the title of my standard text code come through and I get my extended text values, right? And then I can fill in my values here each time as I need to. So you get the idea there, guys. But again, be careful using this because these values will come through onto the posted sales invoice and therefore they will show on the invoice printout. So uh, I guess just have a think about um, sort of how you might wanna use these. Um, if they might be useful to you, they might not be at all. Um, but it was just to show you how this functionality works. So uh, that was everything that I wanted to show you. I hope you found the video useful. Thanks for watching and uh, take care. I'll see you on the next one.